we are on the verge of experiencing new era of wireless cellular technology that is 5G. This technology is going to be a revolutionary change in the field of augmented and virtual reality. But from the past few months, 5G also been in the headlines for lots of wrong reasons with weird conspiracy theory and rumors. So in this video, I will try to clear few things for you. I will also explain what exactly 5G is, what all technology used behind it and any real concern that might exist around it. Hey, it's Nikhil here from Technist where I help you to amplify your technology knowledge. If you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe and hit the bell icon for all future updates. So before we start, it is important to understand what G stands for and all the previous generation of wireless cellular technology. Whenever any significant changes or improvement happen in any field or technology, then it is termed as new generation. Here first generation of wireless cellular technology started in late 18th century, which allow us to communicate wireless, which was working on analog signal. In early 90s, second generation started, which was developed on digital signaling and allow us to send and receive text messages. Third generation started in the early 21st century, which bring us online and open the gate for social networking and online services. Fourth generation delivered the speed which we enjoy today, allow more users to come online. However, as more users came online and started using more smart devices and smart home appliances, which increased the network traffic that required more data with higher speed. Now we are heading towards 5G, which is based on the same theme as 4G, that is higher speed, which handle more than 1000 times traffic compared to 4G and up to 20 times faster than 4G LTE. Just imagine, download a HD movie within a second and then let your imagination run wild. 5G will be the foundation for virtual reality autonomous driving the internet of things and stuff we cannot even imagine. But this technology is still under testing phase in several countries and we cannot comment on the success rate of 5G technology. However, there are four major brand new technology on which 5G is structured and they are millimeter waves, small cell, massive MIMO and beam forming. First up, technology number one, millimeter wave. Currently, 4G is working on low frequency radio wave, which falls under 3 kHz to 6 GHz. Now 5G is going to extend the additional high band of wavelength spectrum, which is up to 300 GHz. And the wavelength which falls between 30 to 300 GHz are called millimeter waves. Now as the frequency increase, it will carry more data but their wavelength shrink. This create a major issue for the development of 5G. The main drawback of millimeter waves that it does not travel very far, which means signal does not work indoor and tend to be observed by plant or any other obstacle and even it get observed by the rain as well. To solve this problem, technology number two come into the picture, that is a small cell network. As per the current standard, Minimum distance between two 4G towers is 22 miles. Since 4G works on medium wave, which travel far as compared to millimeter wave. This millimeter wave drop off if any obstacle come in between. A small cell network will solve this problem by using thousands of low power mini base station, which amplify the signal and user can seamlessly connect from one base station to another base station without network drop off. Next up technology number 3 that is Massive MIMO which is stand for multiple input multiple output. Today's 4G stations have about a dozen of ports for antennas that handle all cellular traffic. But Massive MIMO based station can support about 100 of ports that will increase the capacity of today's network by the factor of 22. Again this technology has its own complication. These antennas broadcast information in every direction at once and all those crossing signals cause serious interference which may result call drop or loss of data package which will be resolved by technology number 4 
that is beam forming beam forming rearrange the signals and directs towards a device or user it uses signal processing algorithm to triangulate precisely where its signal is coming from and pulse the best transmission route back to its device so this is all about 5g technology as we progress implementing this technology several other issue will come into the picture and it will get resolved accordingly now the question is does 5g pose health risk mobile phone technology use electromagnetic radiation which leads some people to worry about increased health risk including developing certain type of cancer however only ionized radiation have sufficient energy to break apart dna and cause cellular damage as per who ionizing radiation starts from ultraviolet ray and it increases with higher level of wavelength such as x ray and gamma ray which can leads to damaging effect within the human body and 5g is so far below that CDC also says that there is no any scientific evidence that prove a definite answer of this question. So as per current research, we do not have any result which support this theory. So this is all about 5G technology. Please let me know in comment section whether you like this video or not. Also, subscribe my channel for future update. I will see you in the next video. Till then, be safe.